G'day. I want to talk to you a little bit today about Twitter. It seems these days that every man and his dogs wants to join in on the Twitter revolution. After some study, I've discovered that every Twitterer goes through certain stages before they can claim to be a proficient Twitterer and I want to go through these 10 stages with you. The first stage is the newbie. This is the initial stage where you've joined but you don't know what the hell you're supposed to be doing. The second stage is the research stage. You don't want to be a newbie all your life so you decide to do a bit of research so you know exactly what Twitter is all about. The third stage is the sifting stage. This is where you go through your information that you have accumulated and you work out which one's crap and which ones are the gems. The fourth stage is the following stage. You've come to this stage because bloggers like John Chow, who are supposed to be the marketing gurus of the blogging world, have told you that you need thousands of followers behind you to become a successful marketer. And one of the ways that he says you can do this is by following thousands of other Twitterers, especially those who are interested in the same things that you are interested in, hoping that by following them, they in return will follow you. The fifth stage is the what the fuck stage. You come to this stage after you've amassed all these followers and you are following thousands of people in return. So there you are sitting at the computer, you're trying to write a post and all of a sudden all these little tweets come up on the screen and you have a look to see if they're interesting you think, oh yeah, this one looks good and you have a look, ah nah, this someone is picking his nose, crap. Another one comes up and you have a look, nah, somebody else is scratching his ass, you think, oh bloody hell, this is bullshit. Oh, another one comes up and you think, oh this one sounds interesting. So you go down there, what is it? It's another squeeze page, someone's trying to sell you some crap which you're not interested in. And this happens all bloody day and you think, I'm not going to get any work done. This is driving me nuts. I just can't put up with this anymore. And you figure, something has got to be done. The sixth stage is the unfollow stage. You get to this stage after you get tired of all this incessant chatter from all the tweeters that you are following and you think, I can't put up with this anymore. I've got to somehow cut this down to the bare minimum so I only follow those people who I really want updates from. So you figure it's time to trim the fat. And there's a good site that will actually help you do this. One site that will help you trim this excess fat is called Friend or Follow. And that will allow you to find out who has stopped following you so that you can in turn stop following them. The next stage is the panic stage. After trimming the fat, not long after that you may find out that your statistics are starting to go down. You're not getting as many hits on your website. And you th come to the conclusion that, heck, maybe I've done the wrong thing. Maybe I shouldn't unfollow all those people. Maybe that's why everything's gone down the tube on my blog. Gee, heaven forbid that it's something that you've done, like maybe you haven't posted as often or your content isn't up to scratch, but nah, can't be your fault, must be Twitter. So that leads you to the next stage. The next stage is the Google stage. This is because you've decided that people like Pro Blogger and John Chow, who have thousands of followers, they must have something that helps them to sort of categorize those people that they're following. So that they only concentrate on the ones that are really interesting and all the other ones are ignored. Sounds like a good idea. So you figure Google may help you find the solution. After a fair bit of work, you come across TweetDeck. TweetDeck is an application that you download, you install, 
and it does what you think it should do. It enables you to categorize your followers. And that way you can put different categories for different followers. You can have your, your friends, you can have your business acquaintances, you can have the morons, you can have the bullshit artists, whatever you want. And you choose to follow, concentrate on the ones that you want. The 10th stage I've left blank intentionally because I want you to fill that one out. I want you to tell me what you think the 10th stage of being a proficient Twitterer is. Well, I hope you found that bit of information informative. I'm Sire. I'll see you next time.